Hi, this is Danny D, and welcome back to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel reflection comes from uh, Mark 12, verses 28 to 34. In this gospel, Mark recounts the story of uh, when a scribe asked Jesus a question. This was a point in Jesus' ministry when he was getting popular, but at the same time feared and hated. Sadducees and Pharisees were asking questions to trap him. Theologians believe, though, not this scribe. This scribe sincerely wanted an answer to this question. What is the first of all commandments? Many of us know the answer to this by heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. But this time, as I reflected on this gospel, the Spirit led me to the first line of Jesus' answer. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. It reminds me of another gospel from Matthew chapter 19 when this rich man asked Jesus, What must I do to gain eternal life? And Jesus answered, Follow the commandments. The rich man was so happy and said, But I've been following these commandments all my life. What else must I do? Jesus says, So sell all your possessions give all the money to the poor and you will have treasures in heaven the man walked away sad because he had many possessions this made me think why do i obey these commandments in the first place is it for the fear of hell or am I doing it for the love of heaven? If Jesus came down here, right now, right here, and said, Danny, it's okay, it's, it's time, let's go home. Will I be very excited? Or will I say, wait, wait, uh, how about, who's gonna take care of my wife or, and my kids? Who's gonna run the business? I'm in the middle of building this ministry and shall I walk away sad also because I have many possessions or will there be nothing more important than being with my Lord that one true God who loves me more than love itself now the answer to that question will make all the difference here, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. If we can sincerely pray this prayer, the Lord my God is Lord alone and there's nothing, nothing that will come before Him. Then you will surely not only love God with all your mind, not only with all your strength, not even with just all your heart, but you will love God with all your soul. And this, Jesus says, is the first commandment. And Jesus continued saying, You know how you will know that the kingdom of God is near for you? Two things, two fruits. First, because of this real love for God, you cannot unsee God in your neighbor. You will surely love your neighbor as yourself. His joy will become your joy. But his pain will become yours too. Second, you will begin to understand that to offer things to God for the fear of hell means nothing to him but to give up something of value to you you know that that sandwich that you were about to eat and 
which you ended up giving that hungry child in the street, sacrificing whatever comfort because of the love of Jesus in heaven, Jesus says, you are not far from the kingdom of God. Now I pray for all of you in this, who were led to this video, for the understanding of the essence of these commandments, that they're not here to test us, but as a way for us to go back home to heaven. Now I pray for the courage for us to live a life that will do nothing but glorify Him. And may the peace, love, and joy of Christ be with you every day of your life. Amen.